Hold for playing. Paparazzi. Oh, of course. They're following you. No, they're following you. No, they're, they've been like, all week. They've been waiting for you. Uh, that's that must be it because I'm <laughs> such a target. <laughs> this is one, another interview that has been trying to happen forever. Yes. It's wanted to happen. It's taken, and, and here we are finally. It's taken what? Almost a year and a half. Almost a year and a half. I would Two. say though that's a pretty good average. There are some people that I've been trying to meet up with for years, right. and finally. But we keep having it booked and then having things happen. What do you think uh, is it behind that? Does the universe want us not to get together? I think the universe wanted us to sit on a stoop in Los Angeles and not New York. It's a really exciting night. Tons of people are showing up, and we are live from the 48th Annual Grammy Awards. So you've been on E! actually for many, many years, yeah? Yeah. How many, many? On and off for 20 years. It's a long-running love affair. Well, a job's a job. A girl's got to eat. I totally no, I'm, get that. I am very lucky that I have had such a terrific home for my work for many, many years. Why did you pause before you said work? Because I was gonna go for a much fancier word. Like? Like creativity or my creative outlet or my canvas. artistic crap. But the thing is I grew up in this business. Right. Which I think what makes me maybe a little bit sillier and a little bit more cynical because it's so a part of my my life. I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Well, who is the only Oscar winner with both parents that received Oscars? Well, that's not that hard a question, Mom. The answer is Liza Minnelli. I knew you'd knew her. Thank you. So, okay, so then you took the leap and, and did become an entertainer in your own right, not just an entertainer's kid. Yes. Was it hard to pick up the, your own mantle and say, I'm, I'm my own performer, I'm not just a Rivers kid, I'm not just... Well, it's interesting because it's always, I've always been labeled, I've always been typecast, I've always been prejudged. Um, I was never given credit for anything that I did um, until this last year. Okay, so. And which has made the whole thing very, very bittersweet. As Melissa tried to hold on to hope at her mother's bedside, details about the throat procedure began to emerge. Focusing on the sweet, yes. we can say that your mother is looking down from heaven saying, finally! Absolutely, she would be absolutely tickled by the whole thing. But it also brings up a lot of different emotions, like all this outpouring of the last year, and she was an icon and a legend, and this one loved her. It's hard because she was so controversial, and there was so much backlash for me not to sometimes be angry. Like, that? oh, you want to honor her now? Do you die? Of you, should I? Look at I this. Work for you, John. Plow is stupid. Rip it apart. The flower is stupid. The flower is gone. You want brutal honesty? You think you can handle the truth? For you, in the eye of the storm, how did it? Um. You know, I'm in the hospital, I wouldn't turn on the TV because I know there was coverage all over the news. Like, I just, and a lot of it was to protect my son. I had to make sure that I was steady Eddie for him, and then I'd go in my closet, and I'd shut the door, and I'd lay on the floor and cry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm but just... on my floor, my closet's my happy place. <laughs> Sounds really fun in there. Hey, well, no, I got my shoes, <laughs> and, you know, I'm crying, going, my mom was right, I have great shoes. <laughs> So, okay, let's talk about your closet. You are the fashion police. You're the actual fashion police. It's scary, isn't it? Well, I'm just saying, like, how do you become the police it's, of style? Yeah, a little little bit of power goes a long way. Melissa, we are on. Huh? Oh. Hi. Yeah. It's been a little bit of a crazy year around here, and, well, I'm still cleaning up messes. But the good news is, fashion police ah! is back. Is fun. Yes. And it's an and that is an art form. Yes. And you're allowed to have an opinion if you like something or you don't. But is everybody allowed to have an opinion or just you? No, everyone's allowed to have an opinion. Okay. Why not? No. My, my mom always said, all we're really doing is saying on TV what everyone has been sitting on their couch saying to their friends all those years. That's yeah, and we're funny. And that's what it really comes down to. Did you ever do stand-up? No. I mean, that seems awful, right? Yeah, well, first of all, being raised by a stand-up and around other stand-ups, you realize what twisted people they are. <laughs> um, my mother was very unusual for a stand-up in that she was married, with children, happy. Yeah. Most stand-ups are very dark people. Right. And she was very much the, sort of the, the exception to the rule on that. As a mother, mm -hmm. do you think it's more important to be home with your son every second or a role model for him out in the world working? I think the best thing I can do is show him balance. I have taken him to work. He knows I work hard. He also knows that I make his things that are important a priority. 
as a child of the famous, which he now is, what do you do to keep Cooper grounded? Beat him. Good. All right. Well, whether he deserves it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sometimes just for no reason I'll just keep him sharp just, just upside the head upside the head <laughs> this has been Parenting with <laughs> Melissa Rivers join us next week for waterboarding and teasing for fun oh, exactly <laughs> awesome tasers for fun <laughs> tasers for tots exactly <laughs>